the, the, listen, my friend, I say a lot of things. Sometimes I don't even remember what I said. What were we talking about? Huh? What? Puzzles. Who said anything about puzzles? I don't know a thing about puzzles. I've never solved one in my life. Very end of the hallway, I think. There we go. Maria, give me a hand opening this. Actually, you know, I said it was a refrigerator at first. I don't think it is. It looks more like a locker door. Oh, it is a refrigerator. Never mind, I'm just stupid. You can't open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? Seriously? Don't be a bitch. Just fucking help me. <laughs> like, immediately open. What's this? Not very cute, is it? Here, James. You take it. Mm, thanks. Got a lead ring. Oh, uh, okay. <sighs> Alright, I get it. She's one of them high-class fancy broads. She wants fucking multiple rings. So there's... It's gonna be copper, lead, and most likely gold at the very end. Okay. I'm catching on to your monkey shines. Silent Hill. That does lead me to wonder where I get the gold ring. If there is even one. Maybe she's just a moderately classy gal and just wants a copper and a lead ring. from the refrigerator. It's engraved with a disgusting, bloated face. Hey, it's not that bloated. It just looks like a skull. Maybe it's the Phantom's ring. Does anybody know who the Phantom is? I doubt it. Put the lead ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. Oh. Oh. I... So she's just a moderately classy gal. Cool. I can go. I can work with that. Hell yeah. Where does this go? Wait, what? Where does this go? <laughs> What's this? There's a note on the ground. Inside is some kind of hard to read writing. I took the. <laughs> That's not how you spelled. Oh no! I took the director's key, the one to the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I am not a criminal. The praying woman when I went out for a day trip. Am I crazy? Or does it look like... Yeah, there's like a piece of paper on the ground and the writing. Can I have the piece of paper? Okay. Behind the praying woman? Where am I?
Where does okay? Whoa! No! 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 <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> That's an impossible space. That shouldn't be that long. Holy fuck! That's what she said. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, I see. What horrors lie behind this door? <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ! Maria, run! Maria, run! Oh no. Oh god, no. Why did you give me a fucking partner at this point? Open up! We're in the main floor lobby now. staring at James what you staring at buddy he who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into himself the truth can only be learned by marching forward follow the map there's a letter and a wrench Are you fucking for real right now? I copy them on my map. Not the hospital lobby key. Sick. You want me to run my... What the fuck was that? What's her name? Little shit kid. What the fuck is that on the floor? Books about medicine, the town, and the region are lined up here. Oh, what do you say? I don't have time to stand around reading all this. Oh. Learn to read fast, James.
Damn, Silent Hill, why you got such good music? Like, damn. Check the examining room. Try there. What's the elevator? Okay, I guess it's just, I guess it's time to leave. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Set the mood there, Mr. Yamaoka. Marie is dead. I couldn't protect her. Once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Laura has run off somewhere. Mary, what? What should I do? Are you really waiting for me somewhere? Or is this your way of taking... I'm going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know, I've made a couple cracks about, you know, extreme darkness, but, uh. Yeah, boys and girls, this really takes a fucking cake. What, pray tell, is that? So I need... Where am I? Right. I need to get my ass all the way back to the other side of fucking town. No, what the fuck? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so I need to get all the way back down to... Well, if I stick on Nathan Ave, I should be able to just get down there because there's nothing blocking me there. So. Thankfully, there's only one street in Silent Hill. Oh, shit. How do I. Right. I have to go through Heaven's Night to get to Nathan Ave. I forgot. Okay. All right, let's fucking go into the darkness. Whoa, oh, bitch. Okay, just about, I think I'm hurt like really bad. I think that really hurt me. Yeah, it did. <laughs> the nurse will see you now. <laughs> Where the fuck is Heaven's Night? Is this it? No. Is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah. What? What the fuck? Okay. Um. Don't panic. Don't panic. 
maybe I can get through this way. Maybe the darkness is kind to me. Nope. No, immediately fucking nope. Okay. Hmm. What's this? Looks like there's a little hole in the fence, but I guess not. I don't know about creeping. I think it's just sort of there. <laughs> okay, maybe... Maybe something's open up down here? Shit's dark! God damn! This. Rifle shells? There's a rifle? Well, where the fuck do I get the rifle? Oh shit. Don't even think I'm going the right way. Don't know where the fuck I'm going. Keep out. What is this? Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. I don't think I'll be able to go through here. No. Oh shit. What is this? It's fucking nothing. <laughs> oh. What the fuck was that sound? Can we not? Can we please? Oh! What the fuck? Yeah, hi, excuse me? I think it's coming back. Oh, I think it's coming back. Oh, Jesus fucking God.
<laughs> Go to Silent Hill for vacation, they said. You'll have a great time, they said. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> and that premium US health service. Hello, Ivan. Hello. Glad you were able to stop by. <laughs> Holy fuck. I don't even want to know what the fuck that was. That was some spooky shit. Okay, that was weird. Oh, no shit. Hell yeah. Don't James pick up the health item. I haven't thank you for the subscription. 14 months. 14 months of subscription. I really do need to get around to getting like little notifications for the the resubbings and I'm 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 getting on it. Hopefully. Oh, no shit. Interesting. What are you staring at? Shells, shotgun shells. Is that it? I got rifle ammo, but I don't know where you're supposed to get the rifle. I really hope I didn't miss out on a fucking rifle. Okay, letter and wrench. Gonzalez Mexican restaurant. Ooh! Some poquitos. Burritos. Pachos. What is that? What is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. So yeah, it's the last building on this street corner. Is that a health drink? Yeah, health drink! My kombucha! Whoa, wait, what? Okay, no, this is not the right turn yet. It. I'm looking for Gonzalez. I want some of that classy Mexican food. Is this it? This doesn't look like Gonzalez. Oh, wait here. Hang on. I see it. No? Nay? Is it this door? phone book is it you no seems like it would be the thing but i don't think it is okay 
Let's, uh... Oh, what's this? Very specific camera angle. <laughs> you! That's right. It was me. Or perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. The part of that abyss is in the old society. The key to the society is in the park, at the foot of the praying woman inside of the ground, inside of a box. To open it, I need a wrench. My patient buried it there. I knew, but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the museum was sealed as well. Now no one dares to approach that place. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Here's the wrench. Okay, so... Oh, that's what that note was talking about. The the key behind the praying lady. Okay. Okay. So that means I got to go back to Rosewater Park, which should be an easy trek. I just got to go up this street. Heaven forbid things have changed. kids these days. They don't know anything about traditional grave robbing, I tell you. It's fun for the whole family. The whole family. <laughs> Alright, kids, we're gonna go see Mima again. She's got a football ring that I really want. Why does Mima have a football ring? Well, you see, kids, Mima was a real mean old broad back in the day. Nobody. What the fuck? I went the wrong goddamn way. Wait, how the fuck did I get flipped turned upside down like that? Darkness, everybody, darkness! No, okay, still keep going. Okay. I always think the streets are shorter than they are for whatever. Oh, Jesus, Lord. It's raining legs. Hallelujah, it's raining legs. me i have to go through the apartment don't i oh shit oh no i don't want to go through the apartment there's probably demons in there that want to munch on my asshole. God. Yeah, it's just a straight shot there. Fuck. And you know Pyramid Head's gonna be there. Good old PH. Because that's where you first fucking see him.
Yeah, here it is. Oh! Okay! Huh? Wait, what? Fuck off. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Harry Harry handled all of this shit pretty pretty well. But that's mostly because he was always like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like he was very matter of fact about everything that was going on in Silent Hill. And when it was explained to him, he was very much like, okay, okay. And even then, most of it wasn't really explained to him. A lot of it was just his own inference. He was just so sort of like, I think this is what's happening, but I don't know for certain. You know, he's like, he's like the ultimate Lovecraft protagonist where he doesn't really get what's going on. <laughs> Like, it's it's better that he doesn't get it, because if he did get it, it would be worse. It also helps that Harry was pretty much entirely removed from what was going on within the events of Silent Hill 1. Like, he was just sort of, he really was just sort of like a bystander. Like, well, this is a thing that's happening now, and I have to deal with it. <laughs> Shotgun. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Damn, there are some really big birds out here. Yeah, exactly. Can't catch me, I'm James Sunderland. I'm James Sprinton Sunderland. I took track and field when I was in public school. Biatch. I got all the participation trophies. Oh man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't think I don't think Harry really intended to do that. Really don't think really really don't think Harry really wanted to go back. He's like, you know, I went there, and even though I didn't see it under the best of circumstances, I gotta tell you, the place was nothing but hype, you know? The amusement park wasn't that great. I think next year I'll just take Cheryl to fucking uh, Cedar Point. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking for a statue of a praying lady. Then I gotta get behind her. <laughs> but Dad, Silent Hill's cheaper. Yeah, well, honey, sometimes, sometimes the money's worth it. We should do Six Flags this time. <laughs> All right, where the fuck is the statue? I don't remember if there being a statue. Maybe I'm just dumb. Hmm. 
What the fuck is that? Hold up, what the fuck is that? You seeing this shit? What the fuck? Oh, it's a light preserver behind glass. Holy shit, that freaked me out a little bit. I was like, what the fuck is this weird shit? It, it's a life preserver. <laughs> oh, Marcus. Oh, buddy. Memory of the 67 who died of illness and now sleep beneath the lake. Yikes. Terry having to go. Right? That's the thing that fucks me up every time I think about Silent Hill 1 is that, like, Harry has to take care of a baby again by himself. Like, he had a wife last time to help him, and then she fucking died of mysterious circumstances. Now, at the end of Silent Hill 1, he's like, what the fuck? I'm left with a baby again. Now I gotta take care of this little shit all by myself. It's not fucking fair. I just wanted to go on vacation, damn it. <laughs> hey, where is he, Bo? Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Ugh, yeah. Where the fuck is this? Oh, is that her? Nope, that's a horse. Good old Jebediah Springfield himself. Patrick Chester, son of Edward, he fought and died for the people, for liberty, and for all of our tomorrows. His memory lives on. Okay, we're getting closer. I can feel it in my bones. She's around here somewhere. No, oh, there's ammo on the floor. I have so much ammunition. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, no. Uh, wow, I completely missed it. Back. Because it's personal. <laughs> he could use a gun, but that would take away the that would take away the sensation of revenge. Caution. Slipper when wet or frosty. Just like me. For real. <laughs> oh fuck. Wow, I'm just finding ammunition everywhere. <laughs> yeah, because James is a weird little freak. It's behind me. It's behind me. It's behind me. It's behind me. Okay, yeah, here we go. It's specifically marked off in the one spot on the map, and I just went way out of my way to not find it. <laughs> no, it's not that one. Wrong about 
about that. That's because Christoph Gans is a weirdo who thinks that if you're you're a man and you love your children, you're a woman. God, what a strange... Remember, folks, men can't love their children. Is it here? I feel like it's in here. According to Christoph Gans, anyway. Is that her? <gasps> it's her. The lady. Victim of persecution by brrr, Anne's Jen brrr, Carol live with the pride and honor. Uh, what happened here shall never be forgotten. That's true, but if you there's a there's a there's a fucking hilarious behind the scenes uh, like special feature for the Silent Hill movie. Uh, like DVD, where the director of the movie talks about how, while he was doing research for the for the project, yeah, exactly. He 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 says something along the lines of like, as we were as we were writing the movie, we found that the the characteristics that Harry Mason has, it, it's actually a woman. And like, no, what, what, what the fuck? <laughs> that's why that's you know you know men can't love their kids. That's just. According to Christoph Gans, men can't love their kids. Only mothers can love their children. I don't make the rules. Okay. Yeah, dig it up. Yeah, yeah, research. Right? <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? Small metal box is fastened by bolts. I can't I can't open the lid. No shit, Harry? Or James? James. James. Got the old bronze key. I fucking hate that theory. I I fucking hate the Centralia theory. Like I get it, Centralia is cool and all, and it should be used as like some kind of inspiration for horror. But holy shit, I'm so tired of hearing people say, eh, "Well, just fun, fun fact. Did you know that uh, Silent Hill is based on Centralia?" No, it's not. It's fucking not. It's not. It, there's no connection between these two places. One is a real place that had a tragic thing happen, and the other one is fucking Silent Hill. The movie, the movie's, the movie's fine. Like it's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but it's it's so. I've never seen a piece of media taint the idea of what a thing is. <laughs> uh, Centralia is a... Uh, I think it's a city or a town in Pennsylvania or something like that, or something like that. It's some like Midwest American city that had a coal mine fire back in the day, and because of the way the coal mine was built, is it in Pennsylvania? Okay. Uh, so yeah, they had like a coal mine fire back in the day, and because of the way the the land is structured or something like that, there's like just a constant fire billowing down underneath of it. Like just natural gas is just constantly burning, so you just see like all this fucking smoke and shit coming up through the cracks in the in the town. I don't even know if that's necessarily true. But that's what I remember it being. 
but everybody and their fucking grandmother were like, oh, this is inspiration for Silent Hill. And it's like, no, it's not. It really isn't. It's, it's a neat little coincidence, but... Yeah, that is kind of what Homecoming is. Homecoming is very much Silent Hill, the movie, the game. And I haven't even fucking played a whole lot of Homecoming. I've actually never touched Homecoming. So... <laughs> okay, see, your first problem is that you're in Pennsylvania. So we gotta correct that. Okay, so I need to get to the, yeah, the Historical Society, which is just down the road. Just down the road! Just down the road! Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a it's a it's a billboard for Lakeview, Lakeview Hotel. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. It's kind of neat. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's cool as hell as like a just a thing that exists. But like, oh my god, I'm so tired of hearing anytime anybody brings up Silent Hill, it's always like. There's somebody in the background that's gonna go, Centralia, Pennsylvania! Like, cool dude. You fucking sick, bro. <laughs> Haunting, you have my condolences. F. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking dunked on. Uh, we have fun here. We have fun here. Okay, where is this historical society? I walk past it? No, I didn't. Whoa! Bitch! Bitch! Fucking bitch! Historically, it's been located up the road. <laughs> you smart ass. What was so important that I had to come out over here for? For real. Ooh, red thing. Historical Society Building. The Brain Tickler 2000. <laughs> yeah like how close yeah haunting how close exactly are you to like i don't know i don't know where exactly centralia is in pennsylvania but like if you're in philly how close are you to this place like can you just constantly see smoke rising on the distance as like a grim reminder of what happened like ah yes that's where the demons are Wow, that, that's not very far away. That's fucking wild to me. Somebody busted the doors off this hinges. That doesn't fill me with a lot of hope. 
God, this. Oh, oh, what? What the fuck? Check out this sick concept art. Misty Day, Remains of the Judgment. It's him. The anal guy. <laughs> Photo is hanging here. Where's well, she coal mine? Purely coincidental. There's nothing of particular interest inside the case. Come on, James. It's history. Learn something, for God's sakes. There probably used to be a painting here. Only explanation remains. Waterfront Landscape. Alan Smith. Date of birth and death unknown. A scene from this area from long ago. From the style, it looks like it was done sometime around 1820. There were a lot of there were a lot fewer people then and only a handful of buildings. That feels like it's a puzzly thing that I gotta do. Oh, that sucks. Damn scene, kids. I do not like how... You know, I was going to say I don't like how quiet it is, but now I'm just, you know, I'm regretting every decision I've made. There's something useful written on them. Wait, what? Oh, there's nothing useful written on them. I can't read. What did you expect? There's nothing particularly special about this photograph. The photo is hanging here. Brookhaven Hospital, 1880. This hospital was built in response to a great plague that followed a wave of immigration to this area. It was originally little more than a shack, but it gradually grew and grew. Oh yeah, the sound design's like fucking Mwah, chef's kiss. Who is this spooky man? A photo of the director of the old Brookhaven Hospital looks like he was a famous person in town. There's a photo of a deep, deep hole. What could this be? Oh. Oh. What the fuck? What is this thing? No, none of these, none of these survival horror guys are. Nobody in survival horror appreciates art. Like, seriously. I don't want to go down here. I don't want to go down here. But I must. I just want to check one thing really quick. Yeah, okay. Ready to be a survival horror pro today. I'm ready to pick up the serious keys when I find them on the ground. Five mysterious keys so far. How fucking deep does this go? It's getting louder, so I think I'm going the right way. No, I've never played this before. This is my first time playing. A lot of, like, you have to understand, a lot of what I know about these games comes from, like, just osmosis. Like, I grew up in the 90s, but I didn't have the chance to really play these games, but... Excuse me! 
excuse you, Silent Hill 2. I have paused the game. This does not give you a chance to fucking start spooking me with weird sounds. Uh, but yeah, no, like, I, I grew up in the 90s, so a lot of these things just were like, you know, you hang around the video game scene, you just happen to learn things, you know? It, it's, it's one of the unfortunate things about playing popular video games years after the time, especially if you've never touched them yourself. Like, I know the twist of the game. Like, I, I know the twist ending. That's that's an unfortunate aspect of just growing up in the 90s. What is that fucking sound? That too. Some kind of document is lying here. September 11th, 1820. Prisoner number C-221. I can't read the rest. What is this? Oh, there's a health kit right there. What is that fucking sound? We're still in nightmare mode, too, so... <laughs> I just can't read any of it. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Come here, bitch. Come here, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Ow. Ow. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right, we're good. We're fine. We're great. We're honky dory. What is that thump? What is that rhythmic thumping sound? Oh, Pyramid Head's doing something weird again, isn't he? He's humping some fucking monster. I hate that fucking theory, too. I hate most Silent Hill theories, if I'm being perfectly honest. Well, this doesn't go anywhere. What the fuck? What are you staring at, James? What is this? And gun bullets. Photo is hanging here. Toluca Prison Camp. Built during the Civil War. Later became Toluca Prison. Hmm. Oh, yeah. At some point, James would have gotten fucking arrested. Like, super hard. Unless James is some sort of just strange superhuman freak. He's like, like Michael Myers. Photo is hanging here. Death by skewering. An execution at the prison. Death by skewering or strangling. To choose his death is the prisoner's last taste of freedom. Or he's also a cop. I doubt that. Painting is hanging here. Crimson and white banquet for the gods. Huh? What is that sound? It's like a taut rope or something. Where to... <laughs> no, bitch, no, are you fucking for real? <laughs> the hole's dark and I can't see anything. <laughs> Will you jump down? James, no! Oh, fuck. 
Jump! Jump, you fucking pussy! Oh, fuck. Alright, hang on. <laughs> Do it or you straight. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, this is a bad idea. Why?